What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to create callout view. Okay, so last video, we learned how to create section and elevation. That's why as you can see, I now have here my uh, elevation, courtyard, elevation south wing, and then I also have the section through main stair. Okay, so this time, so let's create an enlarged view of a spe uh, specified part of a model. So you can add a call out to your uh, plan. You can also do that on the section view, detail, or elevation view. So in these views, the call out is linked to the call out view. So the call out view shows an enlarged version of part of the parent view and provides more information or details about that part of the building model, okay? So the first thing that we are going to do is on my elevation view, I'm going to create first here a section view. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to select here my section. And then after that, from the properties, so instead of building section, I'm going to create here a wall section. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to create a wall section here. Okay. And then let me just adjust this like that. And then let's open up our section. So let's select go to view. And then this is now uh, how it looks like. Okay. So now the next thing that what I'm going to do is, by the way, if you go check your project browser here, the section that I just created is now under here, my uh, sections wall section. Okay. So after I create, this uh, wall section, the next thing that I'm going to do is, let me just rename this. So I'm going to right click that and then rename. I uh, will call this typical uh, wall section. Okay. And then here on my typical wall section, I'm just going to hide this boundary here, this crop uh, region boundary. So I'm going to select the properties here. And then I'm going to select here crop region visible. So I'm going to uncheck this one to hide it. Okay, so that looks like this. Now, um, I'm going to create now a call out. So let me create a call out here. Click rectangle. So let's select that. And then here on my section, I'm going to create a wall section again, call out. Okay, so this time I, I'm using call out. So a while ago, I used section. So this time I'm using a call out. So let me go back again to my... Uh, courtyard elevation south wing so instead of creating another section so this time i'm going to create a call out okay so let me just um, hide this one so let me click this right click and then i'm just going to hide this one so this time i'm going to create a call out so call out okay so i'm gonna select here uh, about uh, building elevation Okay, then I'm going to pick here and then I'm going to pick another point here. So that's how the call out looks like. And then I will select here modify. Okay, so this call out boundary here, so you can still modify that. You can click the boundary and then you can drag that blue node to adjust that. Okay, something like that. All right, and then if you want to open your call out, it's either you can go to the project browser by clicking the call out that you created. So if you want to know what's the name of this call out, just hover your pointer there and then it will tell you what is that call out. So the name of that call out is Elevation Courtyard Elevation South Wing Call Out 1, which is this one. Okay, so I can double click that to open my call out. Right? Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create now my... Uh, uh, call out detail. Okay, so let me just adjust my boundary here or I'll I will just adjust this uh, Level something like that Okay, and then I'm going to create now my call out. So let me just hide this section. So right click Hide in view elements and then I'm gonna hide the boundary. So let me uncheck uh, crop region visible So it looks like this and no boundary. So in this view, I'm going to create a call out rectangle so this time i'm gonna select here detail 
Okay, so I want to create the detail of this area here. Something like that, and then I select here, modify, and then again, I will adjust this one. Okay, and then let me just go back here. This is the view, and then let me open this uh, call out view. Let's double click that, and it's now here. Okay, so this is the one. So I can right click this one, and then after that, uh, let me just rename this. I will call this detail at grade all right so that's now my call out so for this view you can still change the scale here if you want you can change that one so let's say um one uh one inch to one foot so this is how it looks like but what i want is half of an inch to one foot there you go and then you can also type sd to make it shaded view or you can change from here you can change it back to hidden line Okay, and then you can also hide this section here, right click and then just hide that. And then let me just hide the level in this view, hide it, okay, and then the grid here, or I'll just show the grid here, just a reference. Okay, and then you can still adjust the boundary by clicking the call out like this, and then you can adjust it like that. All right. There you go. And then if you have more time, you can add uh, text here to add some more detail in your uh, call out. Okay, so that's how you create your call out. It's very simple, right? So it's not that difficult. You just need to click two points for you to be able to create your uh, call out. So this is our elevation and then we have our section and then we have our uh, call out. Okay, you can type WT to make it tile views and then you can type ZA to make it uh, zoom extends to corner. Okay, so you can type your SD and then SD here and then SD here. Okay, so maybe I'll just hide this grid. So hide that elements and there you go. So that's how you create your uh, call out. Okay, so hopefully you learned something in this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.